international payment methods online to grow your business with the Kingdom Bank. Today, we are at the ICE London 2023 conference. There are 35,000 people here watching what is going on in the gaming and gambling industry. And today, you will learn something very important for to grow a business internationally. You have to rely to an international payment system that works, that is impeccable. And I will tell you one thing, with the Kingdom Bank, you have this kind of solution. And Mr. Nebil Selkan will tell us why his system is that efficient to grow and extend the business on a worldwide basis. Stay with us. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. My name is Enzo Caputo. I am the owner of the boutique law firm Caputo and Partners and the owner of the blog SwissBankingLawyers.com. This is the place where successful international business people find tips and solutions to better protect their assets with Swiss banks, to pay less tax, and to make more money. Stay with us. We fight for your money. Great pleasure to have Nebil Serkan Subari with us. He is the expert. He can tell us how to increase international payment methods to grow your business. Thank you, Nebil, Thank for you being much. with us uh, today. So, what is the USP of your company? Why are international payment methods that important that they work well and they are impeccable? Thank you very much for you know coming here and giving us a so, chance to explain your service. So, the Kingdom Bank today is a fintech global bank. Yeah. And you know we are in the fintech era. Lots of the banks are brink and mortar. And our best part is we do everything is online. So the clients today can sign up and do the, all the verification within seconds and for the personal applications and for the corporate application as well. And every process will do it online within seconds. So you do, you open accounts for yes. natural persons and you open a corporate accounts for companies. That is correct, sir. Excellent. So how do you open an account for a company, how can you identify the company? Because according to, to the anti-money laundering laws, you have to identify the companies, you have to identify the representatives of the company. How can you do that online within a reasonable time? That is a very good question. So, the first of all, the clients need to sign up www.thekingdombank.com and once you sign it, once you get in our website, you will see corporate application and personal application. Corporate application stage, we use all these KYC, AML, onboarding tools, everything is automated. So once you sign up, you will have a selfie verification, your passport check. This is the first of all, we do your KYC, personal KYC, and we'll be asking your proof address document and et cetera. Regarding your corporate application, we will be asking you your corporate documents which is listed already in our page and then with our onboarded tool, it will monitor you and check your, check your company house documents, everything in place instantly, simultaneously, within seconds, all the global database and then we will get back to you, your application is successful. In, in, there are some kind of situations that we might ask additional questions and in that time, our compliance team or account management team will be asking additional questions in main process, it's within seconds, we got onboarding tools, compliance tool, everything is in place. That's why we are name ourselves today's FinTech Banking. Excellent, excellent. So how do you, how can you help an, an entrepreneur to grow his business and to help him to organize his payments? So what do you do? You check his payments what kind of clients he has, from which jurisdiction to which jurisdiction he has to do payments, how big are the payments, how is the background of the payments. Can you tell us a little bit how you organize this and how you categorize the different risk categories because between each client there is a certain risk level. So the banks today, they have to comply with certain risks. So a client with a high risk has a different due diligence than the client with a low risk, living in London, for example. Yes. A client living in Brazil, there is a different due diligence. So how, in your payment methods, how is your due diligence 
to for high risk compared to low risk clients? What is the difference? Or how do you make groups or categories in these uh, risk categories? How do you implement these risk categories? Today is the biggest advantage of the fintech banks. We got very uh, set, uh, let's say, classified risk metric system. So in that sense, what we do, once the client sign up, we ask them for their sectors, who they have worked with, what kind of clients they have, and all this is smart because we remove all this data information and we say this client and within the jurisdiction they apply is low risk or medium and high risk. Uh -huh. So all this process, no without money inter intervention, everything does, does automatically. That's the best part and this is we sell a new era FinTech banking. And you can do automatically everything or are the cases the compliance officer or the relationship manager of the bank has to get in direct contact with the client, for example, because his, sense, his business is that sensitive, for example, he has a gambling business. If somebody has a gambling business, money from the gambling business is considered sensitive. So what you do in such a situation? Do you, do you search, you, call, you make the direct contact, or can you work with the machines? So in that sense, if, if the setup is a little bit complicated than the normal structure, the first of all, we have very good prepared questionnaire. We ask the customers, what is it this for? Why you get the payments? Who is your partner? In, 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 in some cases, our compliance team doesn't understand. We got VIP account managers, and then they will contact you immediately. They will ask any further question to understand your business structure, your source of fund, source of wealth, and your business profile to, get, to help you to get your submit application smoothly, as quickly as possible. So, don't worry on this. If you don't, if you, if you can't clarify, clarify your your business clearly, we have VIP account dedicated managers, and we will definitely contact you right after the application. Thank this you. Is why we for. Thank you very much. So, beside that, another question: What is the USP of the Kingdom Bank? What kind of services in general are you delivering, or can you offer? Are you a one-shop, one-stop shop, or are you only a payment? international payment providers or are you a one shop one stop company the client can have all kind of services what what are these if yes what are these services so what are the core services that you can offer very good question so kingdom as you said is actually one stop solution and all in one solution we call today if you sign up with the kingdom we give you dedicated bank account in europe and we give you other local bank account as well. So an IBAN. So you IBAN, receive an IBAN. It's IBAN. It's a European SEP IBAN we start with. And then we have multi-currency IBAN solution. And, and following that, we got local collection solution globally everywhere. And we got also local payout solution. These are the banking side. Payment side, we got also the digital coin crypto checkout solution, local payout solution. We just launched Kingdom Scan and Pay solution. So all of this combined services together, banking, payment, we have it. Plus, we got also trading solution. The clients who wants to invest in the financial market, we got trading platform, they can invest it. We have also this one, we got um, web management services also in place, a couple of combined services that you do not need to look as far else you will find with us. Excellent. So what can a client do to to make sure that his payments are executed fast. So what is the insurance, the guarantee you can you can deliver, that he can execute pay? So you, you told before you can deliver uh, IBAN numbers, IBAN numbers in Euro, Euro IBAN numbers, but what what can the client do with such an IBAN number? He can uh, he can have sub accounts or what, what, what can he do? Because sub accounts are critical or uh, is this allowed or not allowed? It or? is allowed, so basically depends yeah. on the company profile. We can either way offer them operation accounts, client fund account or you know segregated account as well. We have that sort of structure. We can offer them sub account as well. We got also the wallet services. We got also FX platform that they can easily exchange your other part yeah. instantly. All this goes through API automatically. Thank you. Let's assume you have a client, there is a client, he's selling luxury goods. Yes. The client is selling luxury goods and you want to offer the opportunity he wants, he needs to offer to his clients who buy this luxury good to pay in crypto. Is this possible? So can he open accounts and receive money of its clients in crypto? And question number two, can you convert crypto into fiat? Can you explain a little bit if this is possible? Yes or not? Because 
There are many clients having a business. They want to offer the option to people to pay in crypto because there are crypto millionaires. There are many people having uh, crypto money, not only Bitcoin, but also other crypto assets. They want to buy luxury goods, you know, and they want to pay in crypto. And you as a business owner, you want to have fiat at the end of the day on the balance sheet and not crypto. How you do that? So, thank you very much for the point. We also name ourselves coin friendly, uh -huh. friend, friend the bank. That means we have a, in, in, our, in, a, in our system, if you sign up today, first you will get a bank account and you will get your crypto wallet. And with this crypto wallet, you will be able to convert the, your crypto to the fiat currency, euro or dollar. And we got also the merchant solutions. For the for the websites, they they want to you know sell the they they want to sell the watches on the website crypto. on the same website. Absolutely. So you provide a solution on the website of the client. Absolutely, and in that sense, what we did, we got a Kingdom Pay crypto checkout or coin checkout solution, and with this one, they will integrate our crypto payment, and the client will be able to buy the watches or you know the cars with, with the crypto and with, within the technology system we provide to them, and all of them is instant and within seconds all this conversion will be done and the, the best part is merchant is not taking any volatility any price risk we do everything in-house technology we, we convert all this very fast very fast this is how we do it this and is how, fintech banking sir. fintech banking okay and how do you manage big amounts let's let's say somebody wants to buy luxury good for uh, eight hundred thousand pounds he comes with crypto in the counter value of eight hundred thousand pounds he wants to convert 800,000 pounds crypto money into fiat money. How you do this and how long it takes to, to uh, convert So first of all, our liquidity in our pool is very, very, very high. So in that sense, since we have a deep liquidity, regardless of the amount, all this crypto can convert immediately, regardless any amount. This is, this is the key part. Any but, amount. Uh, but because the, this is quite rare. Not the, everybody can exactly, offer conversion exactly. of such high because amounts. Because we are a bank and we got a deep liquidity all the crypto market and we got a huge access to all the exchanges in the meantime. And that's why we, we became, we created like a liquidity of all these liquidities. We combined all of them in the same, same place, same pool with our system. Mm. Well, yes, sir. And uh, where are you regulated? What is the, what are the jurisdictions? Because you are offering international payments, maybe you are also regulated internationally. Can you explain a little bit the regulation? Of course. So the bank is regulated from Commonwealth of Dominica. It's a lovely, beautiful island in Dominica. It's a Caribbean island. And uh, it's another British territory. We are regulated there. We got a global offshore According to license. British law, everything is in British law. So, exactly, exactly. So there is a certain liability. You can count on British law. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be certain that in case of a dispute, at least you have a British law applicable and not uh, any other uh, Wild West banking law, <laughs> if, if I can say that. OK. How do you offer your merchant services? Thank you. It's a very good question, actually. So, in merchant wise, we listen our merchants very carefully to offer them tailor-made solution. So, what we do, the first we ask them the top five jurisdiction they operate their businesses, what kind of payment option they would need, and we try to offer them as many as local payment options. So, this is one of the things that we are so proud of. We name ourselves. We are a global bank. We are, but we always act locally. So in that sense, if you want to expand your globally elsewhere in the world, we will, we will definitely have a payment solution that will definitely suit you. That's why we name ourselves TaylorMate and FinTech Banking Solution. That's what we're looking for. Excellent. So if you need a good partner, if you want to grow your business internationally, you should definitely go with the Kingdom Bank. Information just like this cannot be found in bibliotheques, not in libraries and not in the internet. If you like more information just like this, just subscribe to our subscribe button. By subscribing, the, by subscribing our YouTube channel, you will never miss our new videos. Be rich and stay rich. I wish you a beautiful day.